this tutorial is on uh, the iris, how to paint the iris. And first, we're going to start with the stem. And we'll do then the flower itself. I'm just double loading a uh, three quarter inch flat. This one is a one stroke brush uh, with celery green and a thicket or an evergreen, dark green for this. And I will be using also a floating medium because I'm on paper and um, that will help my paint to flow better with such drag. Okay, first I'm going to do the little bud part under here and then I'm going to drag and just kind of work into that. And I don't know if any leaves are in your view. I think I will move this up. And for a blade leaf, I just flatten the brush, let it come to a point, follow, and do that. It's still dragging, but that's okay. I can reload and go over it. For the most part, it didn't. On a painted surface, it won't do this. It won't drag and create that little edge there. But anyways, that's how you do a leaf. I guess I can do the little bud. No, that would be a second, sorry. Okay, so that's basically your stems for your iris. Now I will rinse my brush and then I will come back and do the petals. So first we're going to double load our brush with our paint. I have a dioxanine purple and wicker white. And you double load until it's pretty full. Now the dioxanine purple is a pigment, artist pigment, so it um, doesn't have as much liquid, I guess you'd call, call it. So you want to work in some floating medium, which is clear, and that helps it move more smoothly and especially as we are on paper, so you'll want that especially so it will flow well. Still, we'll probably get some drag. Um, we're going to start with the upper petal here, and uh, we're just going to set our brush down, wiggle, 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 and bring it down to a point. That's the back, because you're going to have little petals in front. Same with this one. Now this one looked on the pattern like it was a flipped pattern, meaning uh, you go like this, come to a point, and then flip it around so that it's a curled petal. But I'm not too good with those, so I will just make this a regular petal. You see how the edge is dragging? That's just because it's paper. And I need a little bit more floating medium and see if I can get it to do it without there. Okay. Now we will do the petals in front. Typically I would let it the purple dry a little bit because it's going to get into the white. And um, But right now I'm not going to do that. And I need some more white on my palette and I can't find it so I will dip into another one I have. Okay. And a little more floating medium. Now let's do this little petal in front of that one. And then there's one petal here in front of this one. Because the way you look at an iris, if you're looking frontwards, there's always petals behind. And this one kind of goes right there. Now I'm going to load more paint on my brush, especially purple, because it's going to be to the outside now, and it will drag a lot. So I make sure I got plenty of paint in my brush, floating medium, and then we will start right here and we'll just wiggle, 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 and come to a point there. See, I have a lot of paint right there. So I'm loading mostly with purple because the white seems to have plenty in my brush. Add a little more floating medium. And then we're going to do this. Wiggle, 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 wiggle. 
and drag to the top. And let's see, this should meet that brush, that, that petal there in the front. So let's go back over it. And fake it. Good enough. And now I will rinse out my brush and we will add the beards. All right, now we're going to put the beards on, which I'm going to do a mix of um, yellow ochre and wicker white. But I'm going to put a point there that I want to come to so I have a marker because I have a tendency to go astray. So I'm double loading my brush with yellow ochre and wicker white. If you need to know how to double load, watch the beginning. Or I have also um, a video on basic strokes and it shows you the double loading. So right now I'm just double loading my brush and I'm going to have my white on the inside, yellow on the outside, and I'm going to try to do this in kind of a curve, kind of like I'm following the curve of the petal. And I'm going to work to this point so it gives it an illusion of curving down the side. Now to give it a spark of brightness in a moment, let's see, I'm going to add a little school bus yellow. It's a little bit brighter than the yellow ochre, so it's going to be a bit, touch of bright yellow. And we want to just dab our brush because we want it to get that kind of that furry fill that the they have. And I didn't, I kind of got too much in the middle there. So I'll kind of go dab in a little purple with the white to kind of make them separate. That's kind of like the dark center where they come to. Not that I want it like a real center. So you can always touch and play with them a little bit so that they do what you want to do. Okay, so there is our iris. Now we'll work on a bud. I just need to reload my palette with paint I'm out. I started on this bud up here. I was kind of practicing and I just kind of took my, this is a number 12 flat brush brush and I kind of went up to a point and then come down again to a point and it kind of made the bud and then I'll add the I'll add the stem leaves in a moment but this one it looks like it has a little loop let me get some better paint on here oh a little loop and then you go up and down and up and then down and then we'll add the leaves let me just get the green on my brush okay now we'll do just the leaves. It's pretty easy. It's just like a one stroke little thing. Just push, stroke, go up, get a little more paint, push, stroke, come to a point, and the same down here. Come to a point. And you can kind of fill in here and then do your stem. And you can tidy it up all over, however way you wish. And then do the same here. Point, touch, pull, there you go. And then do your, why I got that stem so broad, I don't know, but I do. And there is your buds. Now we'll try one more, just because it's a little bit different, and we'll see if we can practice a little more. Okay, we're gonna start our second iris and this time I'm doing using midnight blue because I'm almost out of the purple and blues are pretty too so I'm loading double loading my brush using a little loading medium full medium and we're going to start with this back petal hopefully it's in the camera one moment I think that's better okay 
We're all double loaded. Loading medium in there, and we're going to start with this back pedal. And we just follow the outline. And my blue's dragging a little bit, so I need a little more float medium in the blue. And I meant I should have done the white on top, but we can do this the other way. That's all right. And come around, and we'll do the top petals, which they'll be right here. I should say front petals. Now we'll go and do the lower ones and the little big exaggerated wiggles. Come to a point there. Oh, make sure you get the right one going out. Which one do I want to do next? The middle? Yeah, I think I want to do the middle one. Big exaggerated wiggles. You notice this one has a third petal in the middle. It's, it's whichever way you're looking at your iris. And you can take pictures of your iris to get an idea of how you want to paint them. And I try to get them all to meet in the center. So now I will load my brush, my three, um, not three quarter inch, my number 12 flat brush, with the yellow so we can go ahead and do the beer. So now we're going to do the beard. And I'll just kind of see how I'm going to do this. Just kind of draw me some lines, see if I like the way they're placed at. Okay, nope, put that, put a little blue in my brush because the blue's still wet, but that's okay. And you just kind of build your beard. Get more paint. And build the beard. Get a more like brighter yellow and add on it. The blue's kind of sucking it up because it's still wet. If you want to, you can wait till it's dry. And it should disappear down into the middle, and I've kind of let it, made it meet again, so I could just touch a little blue to make that dark in there. And don't worry about it. So make your irises however you like. And there you have it. I will come back in after the blue's dry so I can make that yellow really pop and it won't blend into the blue. Dang it.